fetso KTC ya Botswana National Olympic Committee BNOC me na tlo lengwe go tswe jalo ka kwa the United States me a tsholetse jalo ka kwa Australia go jalo ka Edwin McCainman is a psychologist very world renowned psychologist from the United States good morning Mr McCainman and nice thank you so much thank you so much for joining us this morning it's a very chilly morning and i'm sure the temperature is quite different uh, from you know from the United States around right about this time and especially since i've spent the last 3 weeks in on the equator in Ghana and West Africa <laughs> so you are almost accustomed to the either winter or heat i am all right uh, you're here courtesy of the Botswana Olympic Committee but we want to understand the type of job that you do psychology and sports you know it, you can train as hard as you like physiologically and physically but the reality is if you're not strong up here you'll never perform at the elite level and so what i'm here for is to help make the coaches and the athletes more mentally tough mm. are you saying if i'm 200 kilograms and uh -huh. i want to run 100 meters uh -huh. i can do that as long as i have a very powerful <laughs> <laughs> i wish i could say that but no that's not quite the case <laughs> yes you'd have to do a bit of physical training too <laughs> yeah but why is it important to deal with the upper part well, I mean, yeah, I'll give you one little example. There was a uh, study done with 101 people from France. Mm -hmm. And they go into hospital, and unfortunately they are told they've got head or neck cancer. And they're asked to fill out a questionnaire with six questions. Mm -hmm. And the questions were things like, is the future going to be a better place? Mm -hmm. And then one year later, 45 were dead. Mm -hmm. And who were they? They were the ones who said the future is not going to be good. Mm -hmm. How you, what you think directly translates into your behavior. So if I can help the athletes and the coaches mm. be more positive, have um, like themselves more, be more sociable, be less neurotic, next thing you know, mm. the performances on the track are better. And you know, your, your top type of service, people have uh, almost uh, you know, replicated with um, or even likened it to you know, you seeing people that have problems. Mm -hmm. Can you basically go into that and just explain that psychology is not all, always about people having problems coming to you for a certain service. A absolutely. Everybody uh, needs that. A absolutely. I mean, one of the things that I fully recommend is that we get out of the, the idea of you only see a psychologist when you have a problem, mm. because then people don't want to go see a psychologist because mm. they don't want to admit they're going to one. Mm. And, and the reality is that we can provide so much more service than just, oh, you go see the psychologist when you've got a problem. So it's very much a proactive, mm. very much comprehensive mm. program that like Australia, Germany, the United States, mm. athletes will see a sports psychologist oftentimes as much as seven days a week. Mm. And what we'll do is we'll give them routines that they'll do. It may only take 60 seconds, 90 seconds, 30 seconds. Mm. But as a result, they're going to be a lot stronger up here. And so it's no, it's no, it's no, no longer, 20 years ago, yeah, it yeah. was, go oh. see somebody for my problem. Mm. But now it's, it's very much a proactive thing. <coughs> we have start with people who are at a very high elite level yeah. and take them even higher. Is it because you know, success in terms of sports comes very fast. You know, you, you, you could be running like uh, Usain Bolt today, tomorrow getting two million, and you don't know how to deal with that. Is it also part of that? Oh, absolutely. It comes with sports. I mean, the, the reality is, um, even if you have the right weight and you're not 200 kilos, but you're the appropriate weight, the, the chances of you making it to the final in Olympics really is are very dependent upon your genetics. And as if you have the genetics, you're absolutely right. You will go from a 14-year-old to a 15-year-old, and all of a sudden you're at the elite level. Mm -hmm. And that's a big shock for a lot of these youngsters to be able to handle that pressure. Mm -hmm. And then next thing you know, they'll end up on television or on the radio, and how do they handle those sorts of e examples? Yeah, it's, it's very difficult. Mm -hmm. And so if I can teach them things like relaxation techniques and how in 30 seconds they can calm themselves so far down mm -hmm. that they can handle situations much better, that's the sort of thing that I'll, I contribute to them. And you offer your services free on a pro bono basis. I do. How do you make a living then? Ah, well, it's not easy when you're all over the world, etc. But you'd be amazed what you can do. Uh. My biggest message, more than anything else, is every single human being on this planet has an amazing capacity to do amazing things. Mm -hmm. And if you actually knew how much money I did make, mm -hmm. you'd say, wow. Because the reality is, a lot of people in Botswana make a lot more money than I do in a year. But I, I still have to go all around the world to do this. Okay. All right, we're going to talk about you know, your extensive traveling and uh, some of the similarities or psychological challenges that sports people, sports personalities and administrators face in different parts of the world and the world that you've been part of as well. Thank you very much. Step with you. Trust in blue. Pay your utilities at your nearest post office. 
This program is brought to you by Botswana Post. Bolo re ke mo thathlelela ampe ke o sidi lantjelo tsa thaloganyo. Bolo jangale beletse mogotsa a metshami ko merero ya tsa metshami ko ni wetetse bono ka taletso ya ba Botswana National Olympic Committee ba tsa mabelo ba lahatsela eno go tla go arogana le batshami ke batabogi ba tsamaisi ga mo go le ba ba tlhe ba ba amegang ka kwa BNOC le ka kwa BNC le ka kwa Department of Sports and Recreation ka khanye ya tshililo ya thaloganyo. Now you you know you have traveled and, and, and I'm sure uh, sporting fraternities, fraternities in different world they have your number on speed dial so, <laughs> so that you can interview. Psychological challenges that are faced by, for example, people in Ghana, mm -hmm. sports personalities in Ghana and the other part of the world, which is America or Australia, mm -hmm. are they different or are they similar? And what are those similarities or differences? Well, I'll give you an example. When I was in Ghana, they had um, a West African Handball Association. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that they face is finances. They had teams coming from Burkina Faso, Liberia, etc. And the people from Liberia, they simply don't have much money. So they had to spend three days in a bus. No showers, no hotels. They sleep on the bus. And then they had to perform within a few hours of arriving in, in Ghana. And you imagine what's, well, how much sleep they got on that bus. Yeah. Not a great deal. And so what happened? They ended up getting beaten by Ghana quite comprehensively. And not because their schools were that good, but because they, they face some real logistical issues, etc. And it's very hard to be mentally tough, let alone physically tough, when you spent three days on a bus. Yep. But that doesn't give them an edge to do even better, because we know people thrive from difficult situations. Mm -hmm. Oh, certainly. Uh, when one of the things that they also they struggle, be it Liberia or Ghana, is they don't have any sports psychologists in these countries. Mm -hmm. And as a consequence, they haven't learned some very powerful, but very simple te techniques to learn. And as a consequence, you know, they are competing against people who do mm -hmm. have these techniques and are practicing this on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. So what would be the downfall for any sporting administration to not have a psychologist for different sporting codes? I mean, if you really want to compete at the national and international level, and, and really succeed. You know, you're competing against people who are doing this every day. You go to Germany, you go to Australia, and the Inst Institute of Sport in Canberra. They have, a sp they have more than one support psychologist on, on tap, and these people are training all the athletes in every single sport how to do all these techniques. And so these athletes are just at a, a much higher level and it's very hard to compete against them. And yeah. Right, um, you know, you have traveled to other parts of the world that, you know, are you know, as disadvantaged in terms of finances as mm -hmm. Africa. And, and um, you know, one of the challenges obviously would be to engage a psychologist who would take something or who would want to be, you know, to be paid for their services. How do you advise such organizations to, you know, find somebody of your kind well to offer those services for free? Sure. Um, one, one thing I would say is that when I'm in a room teaching 30 or 40 coaches, I'm not teaching 30 or 40 coaches. I'm potentially teaching hundreds or thousands of people. Because the reality is if you can teach the people in the room how to do these techniques very effectively, they can go off and teach 10, 20, 30 other people. So in terms of finances, one person for a short period of time can actually teach a whole lot of people without even them meeting them. Yep. So it's all about the mind just how long are you in this country and um, yeah, the, 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 the program that you'll be working on? I'm here for five weeks. Um, I'm here with the Botswana National Olympic Committee. Also, with, I'm doing a little bit of work with the Botswana National Youth Organization, um, with the Botswana Psychological Association and with the substance abuse. Mm -hmm. But um, I've actually got some extra free time, so if anybody wants to use my services, I'm more than welcome to do it completely and utterly for free. Mm -hmm. And um, mm -hmm. I can see the phones ringing now when you say, I'm willing to give anyone a chance, you know, just to, you know, enjoy my services for free. But five weeks, we are known, let me let you in a secret, mm -hmm. in this country we are known that if a person stays in for about a week or two, mm -hmm. they change their mind completely because it's all about the mind and they want to stay in this country forever. Thank you so much, Adrian, and we wish you well in your stay in Botswana for five weeks. We'll see you, I'm sure we'll get to engage with you in a couple of um, uh, meetings as well as you meet some of the uh, organizations, sporting organizations in Botswana. And uh, yeah, happy staying in Botswana. Thank you very much. You've got lovely people. You're welcome.
ke address me kan adrin kainman go tswa jela ka kwa australia me tota adirela ka kwa america me o tlemo botsona go tla go ntsa jalo dithuto tsa itlo maikuto kana tsa tshilo tlhaloganyo o tla ba ha jela ka kwa the botsona sha olympic committee ka kwa the bnc ka kwa the department of social and sports and recreation me are anyone is invited to come and get a free service from him as long as what you have to do is basically get in touch with the DNOC.